Our journey as a Wetlands Centre of Excellence has been ongoing now for about eight years. It started by coming to the present location where bulldozers had knocked everything down to the point where we're at now where we, we see a number of student-driven projects and student-driven activities operating every year at the wetland. There's a grid of nine hula hoops, three by three, and the kids are split up into two teams with labeled bean bags. There's wetland protection, which is like planting native species, water testing, things like that. And then on the other side, the bean bags are labeled wetland stress and pollution. They run and they put the bean bag in and then they go back, they high five, and they try and get three in a row before the other team. We want t uh, wetland protection to win every time. The younger students were really respectful towards us. They listened to us about what we said was important and they really, they were really interested about what we had to say. This year we've had a student who decided that pollination was going to be an issue at our wetland that she wanted to take on. That student went and found a beekeeper that was willing to come here and, and bring bees. A lot of our food production is dependent upon pollinators. She did something about it, which is awesome. I was interested in signing up to the wetlands management class because I'm really interested in conservation and making sure that all this beautiful scenery around me will be here for my children and my children's children, so I want to help protect that. After I'm finished with wetlands management class, I'm going up to the PAW to UCN for their natural resource management technology program to hopefully become a game warden or conservation officer. Ducks Unlimited, they were here from the start. They offered the uh, initial sponsorship for us to start. And pretty much every year since, they've been available to us either through uh, the eco van coming out to talk to the kids and work with our students through funding. And so we utilize to do what we're, what we're doing today. And, and our, our community, like I said, has just supported everything from the get-go and it's been a wonderful experience. It's been uh, discussed with Community Development Corporation that it's part of their 25-year plan to use as one of their main hubs of tourism down the road. There have been uh, some plans developed to make more of a center, somewhere to go to, to sit down. It's just something that the community has seen value in and they're wanting to uh, explore it further and help us develop it. It's given uh, our school a bit of an identity. Uh, we have a number of projects within our school. We're a hockey skills academy. This is just one more thing that makes our school different than the rest. This is something that gives us that identity that we're an environmental school and to something that we're pretty proud of.